Hey up guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well and enjoying the content here on FM24 so far this year. So today we're back with another rebuild, this time taking over West Ham United, of course. There were a bit of a slippery start at the start of the season in the Premier League. We started this rebuild. We came back in now, but the decks are doing really, really well in the Premier League right now. In real life, sitting sixth in the Premier League. It's quite interesting to see, can we emulate that in FM this year and try and push on and make West Ham as good as they have been in recent years? Of course, Declan Rice left in the summer. They won the Europa Conference League. Can we push this team on now and try and win some more silverware here? with West Ham United. But of course, if you're new around here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're visiting the channel today. Give the video a thumbs up and let in the comment section who else like to see us rebuild here in FM24. So dive in now for season number one with West Ham United. On the screen right now, you see the West Ham team, the likes of Kier here who joined in real life. They've been leaving Brooks in real life right now, though, actually, of course, in the January transfer window. That is open right now. The likes of Alvarez who came in as well, Ward Prowse, and so many more. But for this team, we're going to be using the Murphy Ultimate 4 2 3 1, similar to our last rebuild we did with Sheffield United. We used the tactic again. I do feel like it suits what West Ham have at their disposal right now in terms of their players. Playing with those two DMs, Ward Prowse and Alvarez as those two DMs. For now, playing a bit more advanced role as well. We're cool in at the striker right now, but of course, over a five year period, they could all completely change and bring you some brand new players during this rebuild. So let's dive in then to the end of season number one. No transfers have been done, just a tactic alone. See how we get on here in FM24 with West Ham using the Murphy Ultimate 4 2 3 1. So, season number one with West Ham. It hasn't been a great show, really. We've got the same finals of the FA Cup there against Arsenal, the Carabao Cup, being knocked out the third round by Aston Villa, which came third in the Europa League group to Roma and to AEK, which meant we fell into the Europa Conference League before being knocked out of that by Frankfurt as well. And that poor showing carried over into the Premier League as well, where West Ham only came 10th this season. So, not a great showing. West Ham there winning 17 games, drawing four, losing 17. Scoring 64 goals, quite a few goals. It's not bad, really. Only two less than Liverpool, but you can see quite a lot of goals this season, conceding 54 goals here in the Premier League. For now, I understand that this season has 16 goals in that camera. Danny Ings played more minutes than I thought he would do this season. Over the assistant, deciding to go with Ings as the striker over Kudus is not interesting enough. With Ings getting very high appearances, scoring 11 goals. But again, that's probably why we've done so stinky this season. Danny Ings should not be starting in a Premier League side. And interestingly, Kudus has started 33 games as well this season. So he's been starting Ward Prowse. I mean, I'm interested to see where they've been playing exactly this season because it's quite interesting to see the likes of them boys all playing. Well, Paqueta only had 29 appearances and 8 from the bench this season. Alvarez getting 42 appearances as well. So, be interested to see what they've been doing this season. How are we going to change it now? Because, of course, I'm thinking straight away, we get a new striker in. And budget-wise, we've been given at 59 million to spend in the summer. So, let's go ahead now to the end. So, let's go ahead now to the start of season number two and see how we spent that money. And hopefully, a brand new striker will join us here at West Ham. <laughs> So we're back now at the start of season number two. We have bought that striker, taking Beto from Everton. Beto comes in a deal worth 21 million, the same fee Everton actually paid for him last season. He got two goals last season, and I'm thinking, he's better going to be the man, of course. We've known in the past, Moyes looks a big man striker, and I thought we are going to try to do a similar sort of situation to what he's doing in real life right now. Having that big man striker, but Beto has the legs as well to be a clinical finisher in FM this year. So hopefully, Beto can be the man to get us the goals this season. Next up is James Justin for just 11 million pounds. He made the switch from Leicester over to West Ham United. Can either cover on the right back and left back positions, possibly even be a starter in the long term in this save. 26 years of age now, so still a pretty good player, still a pretty good age, and still looks really good in the game this year. So hopefully we can use Justin a little bit more this season. Coming down the three transfers, folks, the immense the four man United wing back, of course, can play centre back, can play DM, can play a lot of positions to be fair as well. Quite a few stars players as well. So for 34 grand a week, a free transfer, he comes in now as free cover after he left by Leverkusen on a free transfer in the summer. Anthony Martial comes in from Manchester United up next as well. Free transfer for Martial was available for next to nothing money wise. Why not? It's a lot of money though, wages wise, 170 grand a week, but it means now we have two capable strikers in both Beto and Anthony Martial to get the goals here at West Ham United. Up next was another fullback option. We bought James Justin in, and now we've brought in Brandon Williams as well to be another fullback option this season here at West Ham. I watched some good cover there for the next two few seasons, and Brandon Williams offers just that. 23 years of age now, still looks really good in the game, good crossing, good dribbling ability, acceleration, balance, agility. It is exactly what I look for, a good work rate. Positioning of 10 can be a worry, but everything else looks really good on Brandon Williams coming in now this season to be probably our starting left back. We then went over to Tottenham Hotspur and bought in Oliver Skip. He was available for just on a low fee of 1.5 million. I thought, you know what? As a good backup player this season, Skip can definitely be useful and potentially be a starter for the future. He still developed 23 years of age. Looks really good in games. Like good work, right? good teamwork, good positioning, marking, tackling, can do what I want in a DM role. He offers quite a lot and of course being a homegrown player be good for European football future down the line. So Oliver Skip joins us here now over at West Ham United. We then went massive in terms of a goalkeeper for Brungan coming in to be our new starting keeper here at West Ham. Of course, 
scores. Went to Brighton last year of 16 million. We've gone in now, spent 38 million to bring Bart Rubungan to be our main keeper for this save. He looks really good in game. I like watching him in real life. He looks really, really good as well. I do feel like this could be our guy going forward for this save. We then started spending the big, big money. First off, with Christopher Jair coming in from Brentford for £50 million. We found a lot of money to spend this window, and we have just done that. £50 million spent on Jair. Great centre-back option. Can definitely be a start for us in this system as well. Won't be alongside Zuma or Gare. I don't know who yet exactly, but Jair can come in, play that role, or possibly even play as a DM in this formation this season. But the big one came in to be our main centre-back for the season. It's Mark Gay coming in from Crystal Palace. He joins the club for £70 million. There's a hell of a lot of money to spend on the centre-back. But he's still so young. He's got room to develop still as well. 24 years of age. He looks really good already. He's a bit shorter than what I like normally in a centre-back. But I do think he's got enough in him to be one of the best in this game this year. And then one final one. Before we get enough wing-backs already. Yeah, and Kotro is available. You know what? Let's get another one in as well. He comes in on loan this season from Manchester City. But with all that being said, there was some outgoings. Kurt Zuma being the big one, of course. 55 million. He made the switch over to Newcastle United. They came in. European football was there. And of course, Kurt Zuma wanted European football. Out the door he goes. Thrillo Kehea, similar to real life as well, wanted to move out of West Ham as well. He made the switch now over to Nottingham Forest. Thomas Suchet was next to leave. He made the switch over to Saudi Arabia. Being joined by Kafal for 6.5 million. And veteran of the club, Lucas Fabianski. Made a free transfer over to Al Ain. So let's go ahead now and see what happens during season number two. The Premier League has just started. You can see some matches already been played here on the left hand side. It's our first game of the season as we take on Fulham. And hopefully, I want this season at least a top half finish or at least a push for top eight this season here in the Premier League. Let's dive in and see how we get on in season number two. So we come back now for season number two here at West Ham United. And let's start with the domestic trophies first. Carabao Cup boys, we lost to Brentford in the second round. And in the FA Cup, we lost to Arsenal in the third round. Both London clubs knocking us out. Didn't happen for us this season. But the Premier League was a much, much better showing this season round for West Ham United. We've got sixth in the Premier League getting Europa League football for season number three. You can see on screen right now in 38 games, we won 21, drawing six, losing 11 all season, scoring 68 goals this season, which means more goals than Aston Villa in fifth. But conceding 42 goals, there's a few too many for me there. Hopefully we can fix that going into the brand new season. But that does mean that we've got a war chest of 54 million to spend now going into this summer. And of course, European football on the horizon here for West Ham United going now in the season number three. Hopefully we can track some big names offering them some Europa League football. Let's dive in and see how we get on now for the start of season number three and what transfer business we managed to get locked in for that brand new season. Right then, so we're back for a brand new season here with West Ham season number three. And we start things off with a bit of an older striker bringing in Callum Wilson now at the age of 33. Wilson was available for 7.75 million for adds a bit of experience and adds some more depth as well in that striking position. He's still pretty good when he's not injured. Callum Wilson is still a bit of a striker this year in FM, so hopefully he still gets some goals for the season here at West Ham United. We then went to local rivals in Arsenal and took right winger, left winger, Reese Nelson away from the Gooners. Available for 49 minutes. A lot of money to spend on the winger. Hasn't really been playing much the last few seasons, but I do feel there's enough of a player here to really be useful in this tactic. We then went back to Brighton yet again. This time, took Lewis Dunk away from them. 33 years of age now, but still a very good defender in FM this year, even at the later stages of his career. With the likes of his year, Gay and Marvin Papalos already in that defence already. We're looking very solid at the back, and Lewis Dunk adds some more depth and some experience into that defence. We entered Sergio Regal on a free transfer from Tottenham Hotspur before grabbing Luca Romero on loan this season over from AC Milan. But sadly, we did see the exit of Jared Bowen. He made the switch over to Liverpool in a transfer that cost us 46 million back in the January of last season, something they touched up on previously. But on the plus side, we made the Oliver Skip transfer a permanent deal for just 37 million coming in from Tottenham Hotspur before adding the likes of Russ Barkley, Christian Eriksen, and Facundo Palestri all on free transfers here at West Ham United. But up another big one going out the door was 30 year old James Ward. Prowse, who made the switch to Arsenal for just 55 million. And this is how our new look team will look going into this brand new season. Ariola in goal right now over Bart Verbruggen with Justin Ajay, Gay and Emerson at the back. Sorry, Reglan, no room for you just yet, buddy. Alvarez and Skip in that DM role with Kudos, Nelson, Romero and Beto leading the line. Of course, this season will have European football with the Europa League joined by the Premier League, the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Hopefully, season number three could be the year where we win some silverware here at West Ham United. And as we come back now for the end of season number three here at West Ham United, it wouldn't be the year to win the silverware, sadly, losing the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup to Aston Villa, the fourth round to Manchester City in the FA Cup and only getting as far as the quarterfinals in Europa League. Frankfurt went on to win the whole thing, winning 5-0 in the final, with us being knocked out on a 7-7 going to penalties against Cologne it would not be enough with the likes of Atalanta Chelsea and Frankfurt all going through to that semi-final but thankfully we did one better in the Premier League this season getting a fifth place position for West Ham which meaning Europa League football will be locked in again 
for another season. In 38 games, we won 19, drawing 7, only losing 12 all season, scoring 59 goals, so not as many goals we need to, really, but conceding far too many, conceding 47 goals for a top team in the Premier League. And following on from that season, we'll have a look at some of the team now. Beto being one of the standouts this season again. He got 23 goals in 4 assists in 44 appearances. Christian Eriksen had a really good season as well, getting 12 goals and 14 assists. The likes of Luca Romero on loan this season from AC Milan, bagging 10 goals and 9 assists. And even Paqueta managed to bag himself 10 assists alongside 6 goals this season in the Premier League. But a worthwhile season for Anthony Martial means he'll be leaving the club, going to Girona at the end of the season. And with a budget of 58 million, this means now we can go to the brand new transfer window ahead of season number four with European football locked in yet again for West Ham United. Hopefully, we can carry on the form and get a trophy in season number four. Let's go ahead now to the start of season number four and see what transfer business we've done ahead of the brand new season. So season four about to start, we did find out we actually had West Ham in the Champions League, qualify for the Champions League in fifth place this season, which means we're taking West Ham on a European adventure for the UEFA Champions League. Which would mean this season we have the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup all to fight for this season. Hopefully, it means some silverware we're coming our way here at West Ham during season number five. But onto the transfer business, we mentioned about Anton Arshal leaving at the end of last season. Ben Rama made the switch over to Norwich on a free transfer. Ross Barkley left the club for 2.8 million. And Marvin Apolos goes on loan to Ralph Hossadad for a loan fee of just 2 million. But it's the transfers in where we started spending some of that money straight away with the likes first of Carrillo coming in for 10.75 million from Santos Laguna. The 24 year old can play Kai, can play CM, can play a warning, and even play as a striker. Looks pretty good this year and hopefully can be a mainstay in this team going into the brand new season. Luca Romero made the switch from AC Milan for 18 million following the regular season here at West Ham with the likes of Marie Bat, Tillman, Trippier, Frank Kessy, Sam Arzic, and Alan St. Maximin all coming in from free transfers. And of course, Kessy and St. Maximin making the switch from Saudi Arabia on a bit less money now coming to play for West Ham United. We learned in Mika Faye from Barcelona. Looks like a pretty good centre-back this season. Looks really good. Six foot two centre-back. Good jump and reach. Good heading. Good passing. Just a lot of boxes. Not a bad option for just 22 years of age. And he will be joining on a permanent deal at the end of the season. And Tyrell Molassi came in as the last option as a left-back option this season on loan from Manchester United. And ahead of the brand new season here at West Ham, season number four, this is how we're looking right now. Areola, Justin, Faye, Gaye and Molassi at the back with Skip and Kessie in front of them. Nelson, Kudos, Romero and Beto leading the line. Let's see how we get on now ahead with brand new season for season number four. Can we win a trophy during the second to last season? And as we come back now for season number four, our hunt for a trophy didn't start very, very well. We got knocked out by Plymouth in the Carabao Cup third round on penalties. But redemption will be made by going to the FA Cup final versus Manchester City. A new loaded David Washington coming in from Chelsea managed to get his turn here on the defence and slot it in the top corner to give West Ham a 1-0 victory in the FA Cup. But in terms of the Champions League, we managed to get West Ham all the way to semi-finals for being knocked out 7 for an aggregate away at Arsenal. But through the league phase, we actually managed to get West Ham a fourth place finish in the Champions League, playing their eight games, winning six, drawing one, only losing one throughout that group stage campaign, losing to Benfica 5-1. But yet again, the Premier League managed to get West Ham a fifth place finish this season. In 38 games, winning 20, drawing 11, only losing seven games all season. Scoring much better this season, getting six, seven goals and only exceeding the 38 goals this season. So West Ham look a lot, lot better going into this final season now. Of course, getting fifth place finishes back to back seasons, winning the FA Cups. We've won some more silverware now for West Ham. What can we do now? Going out into the final season of this rebuild with West Ham. Going now into season number five. Of course, if you're new around here and you haven't already though, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying what you're seeing here today. Right then, season number five is here and we went in big straight away to bring in a brand new goal scorer to get a lot of goals for this final season here at West Ham United. We took Ivan Tony at age 31 and he also looks absolutely insane in FM this year. At age 31, he's a goal scoring machine hopefully can be the man to lead us to some more silverware here in FM24 for our final season here at West Ham United. Joining him as well, David Ron came from Leipzig as well, can play left back and play right back, but mainly will be played as a left back going now into this brand new season here at West Ham United. But we did see some outgoings. Of course, Frank Kessie being the big one, going back to Saudi Arabia for 58 million. Of course, he was there for a few seasons previously, kind of free transfer to West Ham last season, played 25 appearances, and now has made the switch 
back over to Saudi Arabia to Al Halal this time for 58 million. A big payday coming in here for West Ham United. And the likes of Ariola going over to Fulham and some free transfers, the likes of Sadler and Emerson leaving the club. We started spending some of that money. Starting off with Mika Fair, of course, for 8.5 million. We mentioned we had the option to buy at the end of the season that was put in there and we straight away, we activate that straight away because he looks so, so good and had such a good season last year of us as well 29 appearances getting three goals 7.03 average rating not bad taking him all day long the next one was a free transfers Tommaso Baldanzi came available he developed so nice in FM this year you can see already on screen he looks so good in that cam roll potentially going to replace Jordan Carrillo who came in last season only though already in the cam roll this year but he does look so so good he needs to be starting for us this season the other one then was Conrad Lemaire who has came in from Bayern Munich this season of course formerly of Leipzig as well went to Munich now on a free transfer joined West Ham hasn't really played last few seasons as well at Bayern so he comes in now at the age of 30 still looks really really good as well in the game so hopefully can be one of our starting DMs this season and then also Alex Romero came in from Ralph Sostad for 61 million we lost Ariola. Bart went out to the backup keeper. He didn't get that chance to be the first team keeper. Sadly, that's been all that money on him. He never made it to be the first king keeper as Romero comes in now on a big money transfer and hopefully can be the guy that helps us win some silverware in this final season. So going into the brand new season, this is how the tactic will look now. Romero now goes in gold, of course. We've seen the likes of Williams coming to this team a little bit more on that left-hand position. Valdanzi now comes in that cam roll. Tony's the new striker. A lot of changes now in this West Ham team. Hopefully that'll be enough now to get us a top four finish this season here with West Ham United now. Final season, season number five of this rebuild. Let's simulate and see how we get on in season number five. So we'll start things off then. We come back from season number five now. Now, with the community show, because we won the FA Cup last season, we didn't do so on the community show, though. We lost 3 1 to Man City in that game. Harland and Rodri getting the goals for them. Boss Paquetta managed to get one goal for us. We move forward then, of course, the Carabao Cup. We got to the quarterfinals, losing to Liverpool in those quarterfinals. The FA Cup lost in the third round to Sunderland. And the Champions League, we got as far as the quarterfinals yet again. We couldn't go all the way yet again this time. Losing out to Barcelona, losing 6 0 on aggregate. Absolute hammering from Barcelona as them into PSG and Man City went through to the semi finals. And the final to be played will be Inter versus Manchester City. But my main aim for this season was to get a top four finish with West Ham this season. And we've done just that. Getting fourth place in the Premier League, having played 30 games, 120, drawing eight, losing 10 all season, scoring 81 goals, second behind Arsenal for the most goals this season. More goals than Man City this season. That is not bad for West Ham in this showing as well. The likes of Tottenham above us there, Liverpool. Newcastle, Man United, all below us, and Chelsea down in 13th position in the Premier League. Chelsea absolutely stinking the gap up at this point in this rebuild. But that man, Ivan Tony, came in and he bagged goals for fun. 19 goals this season. The likes of Washington managed to get 13 goals. Kudos on 13. And Paqueta on 11. Not bad showings from them guys. Romero as well. 10 goals and 14 assists. That's a pretty darn good showing. And 12 assists coming in from David Rahm on his debut season here at West Ham United. So there we have it. After just five seasons with West Ham United, going from that Conference League victory last season, we went on. We managed to win the FA Cups. So we didn't win many more trophies in that season. But a few places as well. Fourth, fifth in the Premier League. We're looking pretty good. Looking now as a team should we get Champions League football week in, week out, every season. Hopefully we can build on that. If you want to take over the safe file, of course, join the Patreon. You can get the safe files over in our Patreon. But if you're new around here and you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Get in the comment section as well. Let us know who you want to see in a future rebuild during this FM cycle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon.